Hey everyone, it's Misty. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a What's in My Bag featuring my Palermo PM from Louis Vuitton. This was my Christmas present last year. And to be honest with you, this was never a bag that was on my radar. I actually received a uh, email from Fashion File and it was like I said last year and it was like Black Friday sales, whatever. And so I just clicked on the link and I just started looking at bags. And this bag was one of the bags that came up. And when I saw it, I thought that bag looks familiar to me. And it reminded me of a couple of bags that I really love from Louis Vuitton. So one of them is the Sienna PM, but that one only comes in the Damier ebony print. And then the other one was the Turin. And the Turin, the pleats on the Turin are on the side. Um, but that one came in monogram. Um, the pleats in the Sienna were just like this, kind of in the middle. And I will put pictures of these two bags right now so you can see what I'm talking about. Anyways, those bags are definite, were bags that I absolutely loved, but even pre-loved, those bags go for at least $1,500, okay? Like, that's like pre-loved. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that the Turin and the Sienna might be um, bags that are discontinued now. So when I saw this bag, I immediately was like drawn to it because like I said, it's like a mixture of those two bags. And this bag on Fashion File, none of these bags, there was like eight of these to choose from. None of them were more than $900. My bag was literally one of, I don't wanna say the cheapest. It was the least, like at least expensive bag. However, it literally was the bag that was in the best condition. Literally the only thing that it said on there was the pull strap was very, um, the pull strap was really, really tarnished and the inside pockets were really stretched. And then there was like a little bit of discoloration on the bottom, but like you could barely see it. So the bag looked incredible online and my husband knew that I liked it, so he got it for me for Christmas. And when I got it in, I was absolutely floored at how nice of a bag this is. Like whoever had this bag was really, really like so good to it, like really took care of it. I mean, the inside was pristine, like no smells, no marks on the inside. I mean, this was truly a beautiful bag. Like I said, the pool was tarnished, but, I just recently went to our Louis Vuitton here in town and we were there a week ago um, and I went in and asked them if they could order me a new pull tab and they did. She said, yeah, we'll do it. It'll be in in a week. And sure enough, they called me yesterday and um, I went in and they replaced it for me. So let me see if I can get this to focus. focus. Sorry guys, I'm still working my phone. Okay, there it is. It's beautiful. Perfect brand new pull tab. Also, the other day I said my iPhone was an 11. That's not correct. It's a 13 Pro Max. So it's like the latest brand new phone. I love it. I didn't think I wanted a new phone. I have just fought having a new... I had an 8 Plus since my almost 13 year old was a baby. That tells you how long I had that phone. So this is a new phone for me and I think it takes great pictures and the camera's really good. So that's what we're using now. Okay, so I'm gonna do a what's in my bag for you guys and I'm gonna show you what I fit in here because there's a reason for this. I'm actually going to be switching out bags to my Speedy 
and this is my classic Speedy 30. And I did a handbag video not, not too long ago, and I talked about this bag, and I'll talk about it, uh, you know, a little bit more in just a minute, but this was, this is like my most sentimental bag. So I'm gonna change into that, and I think what I wanna do is I wanna talk to you about um, how I think that, you know, a lot of these bags, like the Speedies and the Sienna, the Turin, a lot of the bags like that are going super high. But if you can find a classic, older, um, discontinued bag on Fashion File, you truly can get a really nice bag and you can get it for way less than $1,000. And I know that sounds like a lot, but like literally, I mean, if you know Louis Vuitton, you know, you're going to be spending a lot it's even on the pre-loved market because they're not making canvas um, as often, I think. They're, it's definitely more of a, um, you know, they're making their items harder to find. So I just feel like the market's gone up. Like the pre-loved market is crazy. But you can always find these really for a good price. Now I will say I looked on another pre-loved market and I did see some of these bags for like $1,500. But I really think you can find one for like, ooh, I really think you can find one for a really good price. And the reason why I wanna talk about that and compare it to my Speedy is because I really feel like this is very comparable to say like a Speedy 30, um, but you have the strap. Now, if you're looking for a Speedy 30 on the pre-loved market, you're at least talking $1,500, at least. I mean, they're crazy on the pre-loved market. So just think, you know, if you're really wanting a bag, you don't necessarily, like you can find bags that are very similar with a strap. Um, like I, this is also really cute handheld, just like a Speedy. And I really want a Speedy B um, 30. And I thought well, I already have a um, the brown bag. So I kind of want one in monogram. But when I got this bag, it really, really, um, took that like desire for the Speedy away because this is very similar um, in size, it's got the strap and it's handheld and it's not seen. Like it's a very, very um, vintage bag I feel. Not vintage as in like years and like, you know, 30 years old or anything, but like it's just an older bag. I think my bag was from like 2012, if I can remember correctly. And I just feel like the size is so similar that um, and the price is crazy. Like you just can't beat that price. So I am so happy with this purchase. This has been an amazing bag. It's like the Turin, the Sienna, and the Speedy all in one for me. So I have no desire to get a Speedy 30 because this, you know, like I said, I mean, you can take the straps off and it's so cute handheld, just like my Speedy. And so, I don't know, I just really, really love this bag. So let me show you what fits in here. And so as I go through this bag, I am going to put my items in my Speedy. Okay, first thing I have in here is my, one of my little pouches from the Neverfull. So what I keep in here is receipts and my checkbook. So, been shopping, Christmas shopping. I have receipts in here. I actually have some cough drops from when I was sick. Um, more receipts. Uh, my checkbook. And a pick. Now, I'm not sure why this pick was in here. I think this has been in here for years, to be honest with you. My hair used to be really curly. After I had my transplant, um, I had high dose chemo, my hair fell out and it all came back in like ringlets. It has since fell out, but I, I had picks stuck everywhere. So <laughs> that's why I have a pick in here. Um, anyways, so that's that. I do like this for receipts because you'll see in just a minute, my wallet, I don't like overstuffing my wallet with receipts. So that goes right in there. fits really nicely in my speedy. Uh, the next thing I have in here is my actual pochette, which this is packed to the brim. Now this, 
this is the good stuff. <laughs> this is all my stuff in here. So I'm going to try to go fast. I have a Bath and Body Works um, Pinkberry Clouds in here. I have one of my Fawn lip glosses. I have my Buxom in Rose Julep, one of my favorites. I have the um, Sol de Janeiro hand cream, the Boom Boom hand cream, the best, the best smell. I have one of these um, Paul Paul, Dr. Paul Paul. This is a really good lip balm. I ha my lips have been crazy dry. I have a Twisted Peppermint refill, which I don't even know where my car thing is. So that's probably why that's just sitting in here. I have a Tide pen for spills and stuff. I have a little travel perfume. I have a comb. This is like one of those combs that I've had this like for 20 years. So it like folds up. I think it was like from Clinique from like way back in the day. Um, I have a MAC lip gloss in Cosmo. Um, this is, what is this? Oh, Burberry Her Little Travel Spray. I have a Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner. I have a nail file. I have some stomach meds. Uh, this is either Iconic Nude or I can't read it. I can't tell. This is either Iconic Nude or Pillar Talk. I think it's Iconic Nude. Um, a Marc Jacobs eyeliner in brown. Another travel pen. And honestly, I'm not sure what's in there. I have to sit and smell. I have a contact lens. <laughs> Um, another little travel buxom. I think this is actually out. Uh, this, that was iconic nude. This is Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. I have a hair clip. I have motion sickness meds. And I have a few more Mac and another lipstick. Russian Red, an awesome, beautiful red. I prefer Russian Red to Ruby Woo from MAC. Um, this is the NYX Lip Gloss and Angel Food Cake, a really good mauve nude color. Another travel, another travel um, spray pen. This is, I have no idea what color it is, but it's a little YSL um, travel, not really travel, but it was one of those like sample glosses. And then this is kind of sexy from Mac. So that that's what's all in here. And I know that's like a lot of stuff. Um, it's a lot of lip, a lot of lip products. But honestly, I only keep like two kinds of lip products in my bag. I keep nudes or pinks and reds because typically that is what I wear most of the time. And even if I don't carry the actual lipstick that I'm wearing out. I usually will have a lipstick that I can, um, you know, go over. Like pretty much any lipstick will, um, if it, the colors, you know, similar, pretty much any lipstick will match. So that's my, that's my catch all. I absolutely love this bag so much. This bag is, I probably need to actually get rid of some stuff because it's, it's stretched, <laughs> but that's awesome. I always, obviously if I have like my wallet on chain or my favorite, that that's not gonna fit in there. So I'll just grab a couple lip glosses or whatever I need. But if I'm carrying any kind of big bag, that's, that's what I go for. All right, the next thing I have in here is, this is not actually from Louis Vuitton. This is like that, I think it's Daisy Rose back when Daisy Rose was like, having its moment on Amazon, you can tell it's not Louie because like it is just, it's not cut very well, but I like this and the zipper really sucks. That's another telltale sign, but this is just like a catch all. And I put like these hard coupons in here, but this is literally just like a coin catch all. And I like it because 
Um, I do like to keep um, just a little bit of, you know, like maybe a dollar or two and change in my wallet, but I don't like to overdo my wallet and, you know, with, um, I don't like to overdo it. I don't like to stretch my wallet out. So I do like to keep this in my purse if I need even more change. And then I have my actual wallet. I cannot remember the name of this wallet, but I absolutely love it. Um, I do have a bigger wallet, um, the Clements wallet from Louis Vuitton, but that one is super huge. I ended up getting this because I love this wallet. This wallet is just such a good wallet. And I like having, I like having the change purse on here. So, and you can see like butter. I mean, it's such a difference in, you know, like they just have really good zippers. Um, but I do like a wallet that has like, it's a must have. So I do like a wallet with a um, zipper on it so I can put a little bit of change in there. But I absolutely love that wallet. We're almost done. I think that's pretty much like all I have in here. Oh, a receipt and a YSL <laughs> lipstick. I really do try to be careful with my lipsticks though. That's why I keep that catch all. I do not like lipsticks rolling around in my bag. I have another, uh, another receipt and a straw. So that's it. I do have a um, bag organizer in here because I do like that in this bag. I actually don't keep an organizer in my Speedy because I like it kind of slouchy. I just prefer it slouchy. I know a lot of people like it to look kind of like really boxy, but I don't like that. I love a slouchy speedy. It just looks so much more like casual and not so, I don't know, like dressy or something. I don't know. And I've talked about this bag before. Um, like I said in my bag video, this strap I actually got off of Amazon. And I don't know if you can tell, but like it is spot on with the print. Um, it does have a black back, but that I could not believe I found a matching strap. And honestly, I don't really carry it by the strap very much because you know, they say it's not good for your bag, but honestly, like that's, my bag's not super heavy with all that in there. And every now and then I do just need to have my hands free like if I'm getting out of my car or if I'm in a store and I'm like grabbing a bunch of stuff that's the only time I'll like really put this on my shoulder but I absolutely prefer the classic Speedy I don't like the leather straps on the B I get why Speedy B is so popular though um and maybe I would have done it over and gotten one um but now I'm glad I don't. I, I'm glad I got the classic because I love just the classic Speedy. Like I just love having a classic Speedy. I think it's the most timeless bag. I don't think it's basic. I think it's timeless. Um, but now that I have this bag, you know, it has the strap on it. So this, like I said, satisfies my urge for um, another speedy in the, in the, um, speedy B because the size is so, so similar. So basically I wanted to do what's in my bag, but my point was as well, you know, you can find, um, a bag that is very similar to like a speedy or never full. There are so many bags that I've looked at on fashion file that are very similar in structure and size to the Speedy or to the Neverfull, but they're way, way less expensive because they're not the popular bags um, and they're not the bags that are, you know, that people are trying to get. So just keep that in mind. Like you don't have to buy, like I feel like you can just find such a good um, pre-loved bag if you really look for it. Like you really have to look and this bag was just an absolute gem. I am so glad I bought that bag. I love it. You heart, like I said, it is so much less popular than a Speedy Bee. Um, 
you hardly see these anymore. And if you do, you know, sometimes they're not in great condition. Although the ones that I've seen on Fashion File are really good condition. So, you know, keep a lookout. Like you just, you can find a bag that is inexpensive, like less expensive. I won't say inexpensive, but less expensive on the pre-loved market. And if, you know, like they can fix zippers and they can fix pull straps. Like, you know, now that I have the new pull strap, it makes, like it looks, it really does look, you know, very, very good now. So I love this bag. But anyways, that's just a, what's in my bag I wanna do for you guys today. And I just wanted to compare that to the Speedy 30. I hope this made sense. I hope what I'm trying to say made sense. I just wanted to show you like, you can find bags that are a little bit less popular, maybe a little bit older, um, retired, that are in similar size and shape to some of the more popular bags and you can get them for a lot less on the pre-loved market. So I hope this was helpful and it is Saturday night. I think I'm either gonna post this Saturday night or Sunday. So whichever day, I hope you are having a wonderful weekend and I will, I'll, I will talk to you all soon. Bye.